The rally in oil prices pushed crude to its best weekly gain in about four months. In just a few weeks, domestic crude has risen more than 20 percent. And though we've seen crude rally before, this move higher isn't the same as the others. Jackie DeAngelis has our story. The bulls are back in the market, moving oil prices from $39 to almost $50 in just two weeks' time. The primary reason? Speculation that OPEC talks in a few weeks might finally lead to a production freeze. But many are asking, why is this time different? We saw a similar move higher ahead of the Doha meeting and the last OPEC meeting in Vienna, yet talks did not produce an agreement. Some say this time around it's the Saudi Arabia factor and its willingness to agree that could make $50 oil more permanent. And Saudi Arabia wants to see higher prices as it gets ready to issue shares in Aramco, its state oil company. Higher prices would also support an upcoming $15 billion debt issuance. The kingdom needs to raise funds to maintain its reserves because cheap oil has depleted the coffers. Additionally, in the past, the sticking point has been the market share war the Saudis have been fighting with Iran. But just this week, the Iranian oil minister said the country's production is already at more than 3 million barrels a day, almost at pre-sanction levels. That, in and of itself, makes Iran less of a threat. Meantime, freezing, when OPEC is pumping at record levels, won't have a material impact on production. A freeze, after all, is not a cut. At this point, analysts feel the Saudis could have every reason to give the market what it wants and in turn support oil prices for their own benefit. I definitely think that $50 oil is uh, possible and very probable. Uh, with Saudis, they don't even have to do anything to really just have the perception that they're going to get everything under control. And with that, the market will work its way higher. Still, there are skeptics out there that think this is a classic case of buy the rumor, sell the fact. And the fact would be no agreement, as we've seen so many times before. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Jackie DeAngelis.